Hello. I want to talk a bit about recording audio files from class that you can then upload to Canvas. So there's necessarily three steps to this that need to be thought of somewhat separately. The first step is the actual act of recording the audio in class. This can be somewhat tricky because of a number of, a number of different issues. Uh, first, getting good quality audio can be difficult especially if you're not near the recording device but if you have a you can buy really cheap uh, microphones that you can attach or, or most uh, new uh, Android or uh, Apple products have really good microphones as long as you're within a few feet or you project really well when you're talking but recording is fairly straightforward once you have the recorded file then you need to be able to to store that recorded file somewhere online that will be accessible. Because we do not have a paid version of Canvas, we can't just keep uploading files to Canvas or we'll run out of space pretty quickly, especially as we're looking at doing a whole year of work ahead of us. So the, the, the ideal thing to do is to have a place where we can store a large number of files. So first step is record the file. Second is, is uh, place that file, store that file uh, into some repository online that is accessible. And then the third step is embedding a link from that online file into the Canvas page. And so I want to, to touch on each of those briefly. Recording is, is pretty uh, simple. With most programs, it's as simple as you know, pressing record on your phone and and then you have to find a way to upload from that uh, I recommend to Google Drive I think Google Drive is the place where we have can get the most storage for the, the, the lowest cost uh, if nothing else if you fill up your Google Drive for your personal Gmail you can open another Gmail account and uh, start using that the Google Drive on there. If you're unsure of how to access Google Drive, if you're using Chrome and you're signed into Google account, if you click you just open a new tab, you'll have your little square of, of nine dots beside uh, an icon with your name up in the top right corner. If you click on that, uh, Google Drive should be one of the options that, that you can access. I already have Google Drive open here, so that's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, then you want to click on New. If you're going to upload a file, uh, click File Upload, and then you find the file uh, on your computer or wherever you have the, uh, the material stored. In some apps, it'll give you the option from the app to export the file directly to Google Drive. If you can do that, uh, that's even that's even easier so so check the app you're using see if it can do that uh, and then you know, find the uh, find the file that you want to work with uh, I saved my file to the desktop so I could find it easily <laughs> and uh, so we're going to do this uh, poem recording of uh, Yeats's poem the second coming seems appropriate for the times we live in so uh, that should then upload and see it shows up here in my list of documents uh, and it's actually a document of course it's an audio it's an audio file I recorded this using a program called audacity which if you're recording on a computer this is probably the best free audio and uh, audio editing software that you can you can get your hands on uh, uh, so it costs nothing to use uh, they they give you the option of giving a donation but but it works really well and you can edit you can uh, trim you can uh, make a lot of changes to audio file if you want to or you can just record and, and run with it and either way it's it's a great it's great software there's no recording limits within it so that that's really helpful the another free program uh, open broadcaster uh, is similar for recording video uh, if you want something that that 
gives you a lot of a lot of options a much simpler uh, video recording uh, um, program that is also makes uploading videos and adding text to videos and so forth really easy is Screencast-O-Matic uh, if you want to look at those but, but anyways uh, Audacity is what I use to record this so upload it to Google Drive so once you've done that you've got the first two steps taken care of right uh, you have recorded a file and you've uploaded the file to Google Drive now the question becomes how do you transport that file or how do you how do you embed that file from Google Drive into into uh, Canvas? This was much easier with YouTube videos. Uh, YouTube videos automatically give you an embed code. Uh, this does not, and I cannot find any free services that give you a lot of storage space. That uh, also uh, that also gives you an in, an uh, embed code. Uh, SoundCloud uh, does give you a really nice embed code, but you can only upload I think three hours of material, which just isn't enough for what we're doing. So uh, I think this is this is one of the best best ways for us to handle this issue. So uh, if you open a file in Google Drive. Uh, you need to set the file so that uh, it is it's accessible and uh, you can do that uh, by um, so if I click on it the second coming so it starts playing automatically but what I want to go is you've got your, your three dots the top uh, right hand corner of the page here we can, I hope you can see that in those three dots if you click on those uh, you have the share option and so I can click on that share and then uh, it will open up this with some questions about sharing and you need to set it you need to change the settings uh, so that anybody uh, with the link uh, anybody on the internet uh, anyone with link so not just a limited number of people but anybody with the link uh, so anyone on the internet uh, with this link can view and uh, I'm fine with it and we can comment so, but but some options that anybody with the link has access to it and then you copy that link and now you have a link that you can put into uh, something on canvas so if I go into canvas and I'm just going to go to uh, the calendar uh, to create an event where I'm going to place this link so say we uh, completed class and uh, I had this uh, recording that I wanted to add to the 25th year so if I click on the 25th I want to create this an event and I can just put uh, audio uh, from class uh, and I'll go ahead and put the date 825 just uh, so if it shows up somewhere else I know what it's talking about and then I go into more options and, and, and so now there's there's a few things that I could do I could just do first recording right uh, first recording or something like that and then click on link with URL and go ahead and paste the URL in there and insert the link so that's there uh, if I, I go down here now and click create event the event will be created on the day and if a student comes in and, and this will work in student view but I'm not going to go into student view because that takes too much time but I can go ahead and click on the audio and if I click first recording it will take me to this page and I can begin playing the, the audio one. by William Butler Yates so that's that's great um, my concern with this is that it takes the student out of canvas to play it so I, I tried to see if there's a way to get the audio to play in canvas and there is but this becomes a little bit more complicated 
So what you have to do uh, when you go go here, uh, edit the event again. So we're gonna we're going to create a way inside the event that the audio will play directly within Canvas. So if I go back to my more options, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and go to edit HTML. Now I need to uh, go to, I need to enter a small amount of code here. Um, first, I'm going to paste the link so I don't lose the link, um, but I'll be, I'll be moving that later on. Then uh, and I'll put a link to this page, but this page gives you the little bit of uh, coding that you need to uh, create a player inside the event. So now if I go back to, to this event, I place that little bit of code in here. I'm not quite done yet because then I have to get the link uh, that we, we put there and put the link into the code inside the quotation marks here where it says your link goes here. So I want to paste it directly into there. Then I'm going to delete that. But I have to make a change to uh, this, to this, to, to the link. So it's a, so it will play. I'm just going to put a title on this so it's clearly labeled. And then I'm going to make one change here. So this has a number of, you've got, you've got basically the address for it. Then it has forward slash view question mark USP equals sharing. And so I want to actually delete everything back to the forward slash before view and instead type in preview and so that command changes how this link is going to behave now if i click update event and now if i go back to it it should have a player directly in the link see there it is and so now i can play the audio uh, the directly time, from william butler yay Sorry, that didn't work. I can't talk over myself. I can play the audio directly from the link here, uh, directly from inside Canvas. And it's got this neat little player that shows up uh, that we can, you know, scroll and we can adjust the volume on. So, so that's it. Uh, that, that, that covers, you know, the three main parts of uploading audio. Uh, first, you've got to record the audio. And I suggest an app on a phone or on a tablet. Uh, you can record audio from your computer, but you'd need to make sure that the audio is, is good enough, all your recording on the computer is good enough, particularly that it's loud enough. That's the biggest issue, is volume, so that students can hear what you're saying clearly, especially if they live in a noisy house. Anyways, <laughs> nothing, no personal experience there. But the, um, the, the, the audio recording, uh, once you have the audio recording, then you need to be able to upload the audio recording to a, a storage place, right? A storage bin online of some kind. And I suggest that Google Drive is the best, is the best place for that. Then the, the, the last step is to link from the Google, from your Google Drive into Canvas. And I showed you how to do that, creating an event. You can, of course, create those links on uh, pretty much anywhere in Canvas that you can uh, create a link. So it, it can be, uh, you know, in a discussion. It can be in a quiz. It can be, it can be basically anywhere. You can insert that link from Google Drive and make that audio that you recorded in class available to the students. This will, will save a lot of time for as far as recording and uploading uh, over doing video. Uh, it will also save a lot of space. We won't need as much space to store things. Uh, it shouldn't take as long uploading. We aren't quite as dependent upon the, upon the, the Internet. Uh, if the Internet goes out, uh, most phones should be able to upload a small audio file without too much difficulty. Anyway, 
uh, that's, that's it. Hope it's helpful. Have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Bye for now.